Chapter 1 Set clear goals and bring the future into the present by planning every day in advance. The first principle of planning, setting the table, is about determining what you want to accomplish. It's about clarifying your goals and objectives. It is vital to have clearly defined goals and objectives if you seek productivity in life. You will work faster and achieve more when you know where you're going. Your end game. Procrastination sets in when we're unclear about what we want to accomplish. Brian Tracy has a seven-step formula for setting and achieving goals. Decide what you want to do. One of the worst time wasters is doing something well that isn't necessary. Writing your goals makes them solid and puts energy behind them because they become real. Set a deadline for your goal. Deadlines keep you on your toes. Painting a visual picture clarifies the path you need to follow and boosts your chances of being successful. Prioritize your plan in sequence order. You can map out your plan to help you visualize the steps. Take action on your plan immediately because execution is everything. And take small steps toward your goal by doing something daily that drives you in that direction. Your thoughts align with your goals when you write them down. You become driven to execute what you've written. You are mustering support in your fight against procrastination by activating your creativity and releasing energy to accomplish. Plan each day and never reach a day without knowing what you want to do. No day should be strange to you because you have a clear direction for what you will do. When you know what to expect from yourself, you'll be able to meet those expectations. Your greatest weapon against procrastination is prior planning. This summary explains how to achieve your goals, get important things done, and do more in less time. It will teach you to beat procrastination and stop wasting time on activities that don't translate into productivity. Chapter 2 Get the most important tasks done before those that seem urgent but are not important. The 80-20 principle states that 80% of our results come from 20% of our activities. In business, 20% of your customers create 80% of your sales. You can apply this rule to everything, including your everyday tasks. If you have a list of 10 different jobs demanding equal time, pick out two that provide the greatest value. Arrange the list based on value and begin with the first item. Even if you cannot complete the list, what you have accomplished will compensate for the others. Complex and demanding tasks often bring the most significant reward. So seek these out first and get them done. The excitement you get from completing them will provide the fuel you need to do other tasks on the list. Prioritize and execute. Evaluate the possible outcomes and consequences of completing a task before embarking on it. When you have a long-term perspective on your life, you can decide the tasks that fit into the puzzle and identify those that do not. You will then spend your time doing things that get you results, like a jigsaw puzzle. You are more likely to complete the puzzle when you have seen the whole picture than when you have just a few pieces at a time and no bigger picture. Think about where you'd like to be in a few years' time. What are the things that will get you there? Chapter 3 Practice creative procrastination and use the ABCDE method continually. The truth is, you're not likely to be able to complete every single thing on any given day. You'll have to let something go, and this is where Brian Tracy recommends you procrastinate on the less essential tasks. If you choose to procrastinate on your small, non-essential activities, you'll find yourself more successful than if you decide to procrastinate on the essential, value-adding ones. Begin every day, week, month, and year by setting the most important priorities for that period and focusing on those. Brian Tracy uses the term poster priorities to define lower-value activities that you do less of or not at all. Understanding which of your tasks are priorities and which ones are poster priorities will help you increase productivity. The ABCDE method is useful in this regard. Here's how to use it. Itemize the jobs you must accomplish. Give them labels A, B, C, D, or E. A represents what must get done today. Something, more than one task, can fall into this category. Labeled activities A1, A2, etc. Move on only after completing the A category jobs. You must stay on the most important tasks until finished. Muster all the willpower you need to get them done. They are the frogs you must completely consume to be happy with yourself in the long term. Chapter 4 Use the Law of Three to concentrate on areas that will bring results. What are the tasks that constitute measures of your productivity? A key result area is something that depends entirely on you to get it done. If you don't do it, nobody else will. If you work in an office, discuss with your boss to be clear about your key result areas. It is beneficial for everyone in an organization to be clear about chores peculiar to them. These are tasks for which they will be held accountable. Evaluate yourself to know where you're strongest and weakest in these roles or duties. Assign a score from 1 to 10 to measure your level of productivity in these areas. From this evaluation, you will be able to identify the skills you need to acquire to improve your weak points. Then, you can have better results that will make you outstanding in your career. Focus on honing these skills. The Law of Three says you must mark out three duties most important to your organization's productivity. These tasks must take up 80% of your time. On an individual level, three key result areas in your life that require your utmost attention are family, health, and career. Evaluate your performance in these three areas. Where are you weakest? What do you need to start doing to fortify the weak points? For each area, write down a goal you seek to achieve. Focus on this goal until complete. When you set out to work, ensure you spend the time actually working. Often we allow distractions from our devices, colleagues, and other sources to interfere with our work routine so that we spend so much time at work but accomplish less than we expect. 
You allotted that time to work on the surface, but shared the work with several companions. While you're busy working hard on your career, don't forget other areas of your life are also important. Chapter 5 Thoroughly prepare before you begin any important task and continuously upgrade your essential skills. A way to beat procrastination is to prepare in advance. Chores become more manageable when you have everything you need. You can overcome procrastination by narrowing your focus to a single task instead of a huge one. A clear understanding of what is necessary enables you to do an excellent job. Creating a unique productivity checklist for different activities helps. Imagine you're a college student. Your study time checklist could be having your pen, notebooks, mathematical sets, and other tools in place before you begin reading. This way, you don't risk becoming distracted while studying and will realize that you need one of your study materials. Feelings of inadequacy, lack of confidence, and competence in a task's key areas are other reasons for procrastination. Developing your professional skills can help you deal with these blockers to productivity. Every field requires continuous learning to stay successful. To attain mastery in any field, take these three steps. Devote one hour each day to develop your intellect in your field. Attend training and workshops. Spend your time in transit sharpening your mind through podcasts and audiobooks. If you're not driving, read a book. Chapter 6 Leverage your unique talents, identify your key constraints, and put pressure on yourself. Every individual has unique talents. It is by using yours that you experience career advancement. Identify your abilities as quickly as possible and advertise them so people can associate you with your skill. Just as we all have unique talents, we all have major constraints. These obstacles prevent us from showcasing our skills and special abilities. A strategy to overcome these blockades would be useful. Although many people see pressure negatively, putting pressure on yourself is often the key to success. Many people require supervision and pressure to get results. A situation like this is especially true for people with fewer skills or experience. Great people can pressurize themselves to eke out results without any external force. There's nothing wrong with needing supervision. It's with constant supervision and feedback that we grow our expertise. While it's important to advertise your talents, you should be careful to do so with perfect timing. Know when to refine your abilities and when to serve them to the world. No matter how talented you are, you'll need to commit yourself to practice and knowledge-seeking if you're going to be effective. People who don't realize this will struggle at work because they feel talented and wonder why they cannot achieve the feats they desire. The more you learn, the more you can learn. Just as you can build your physical muscles through physical exercise, you can build your mental muscles with mental exercises. Brian Tracy Chapter 7 You will become more productive if you learn to motivate yourself and stay focused. You exist in a physical frame called your body. It is vital to function effectively to get the right results. And when we talk about taking care of your body, it's not only about the physical. Your thoughts and emotions are just as important. If you take good care of yourself, you'll be able to work harder and longer. But if you're exhausted or undernourished, you'll find your progress hitting a grinding halt. How you feel depends on your internal rapport. How do you interpret events in your life? These interpretations determine our feelings. Be mindful of your story version because that will determine its effect on you. Events can motivate or demoralize you, depending on how you see them. You must stay positive at all times. Be intentional about seeing the benefit of everything that happens to you, good or bad. Do not allow situations you cannot control to determine your mood or disposition. Remember, constantly seek out the positive part of any reaction or negative words spoken to you. One way to achieve detachment and gain control over your mood is to become focused. The more focused you are on high-interest activities, the less time you'll give to distractions. Sadly, technology is constantly keeping us distracted today. While we may find it difficult to imagine our lives without technology, we must evaluate its overall effect on us. The internet has provided us with access to information, but we can easily find it hard to pay attention to specific details. Our devices can become time wasters when not managed properly. Distraction kills productivity. Just because you can stay in constant contact doesn't mean you should. It's very beneficial to disconnect regularly from all your devices. Being accessible means distraction occurs more often. Chapter 8 Chunking a big task into bits is a good way to get it done. Identify the components of a job and reduce them to manageable pieces. Focusing on a chunk at a time will help you feel a sense of progress, encouraging you to continue until the entire task is complete. Humans feel motivated when they achieve a goal, no matter how small it may be. Motivation is vital to continuous achievement. You can complete any task you have broken down into smaller pieces in record time. A good example is eating. A plate of food is consumed one scoop at a time. A mouthful of food is ground into digestible form until the entire plate is empty. When you develop a habit of completing three hours of important work each morning, first thing, you will both double your productivity and break yourself of the habit of checking your email all day long. You will regain full control of your life. Brian Tracy Create time blocks for completing the chunks and ensure the time allocation allows for continuous execution in order of importance. A calendar can help create the time you need to complete your duties. Allocate large chunks to critical portions of tasks. You might feel like a massive task is towering over you, but by taking it apart brick by brick, you will virtually make it smaller and take control of your life's activities. Start with your most important activities for the day or week. That way, you'll get so much done before fatigue sets in. 
you're accomplishing essential tasks, which gives you the necessary boost to get the rest done. Chapter 9. Develop a sense of urgency and endeavor to focus on every task for maximum results. Attaching a sense of urgency to tasks helps you muster the strength to get them done in record time. Regular, consistent actions toward a goal generate the momentum to achieve the goal, known as the momentum principle of success. This principle emphasizes that it takes less energy to continue to be successful than to start succeeding. Every worthwhile achievement made by humans has required prolonged periods of focused hard work. To achieve remarkable goals, identify essential tasks and concentrate on them thoroughly until you get the results you seek. To succeed with an activity, you must work without distraction from beginning to completion, concentrating on only one thing at a time. This practice helps you to achieve clarity, creativity, and competence. You can power through to the end without giving in to distractions and temptations to abandon the task. Extreme focus on a single job and avoiding all distractions will decrease the time spent on the job by up to 50%. Developing a sense of urgency can prompt you to enter a flow state. You become inclined to take action immediately, and this inner drive will force you to think about how you can creatively complete the job. Once creativity is activated, you can enter the zone. Did you know? You Swiss cheese a task when you decide to work on it for a specific amount of time. Conclusion Decide what you want in life. Clarity is essential. When you plan your day, you will save 10 times the period invested in planning. Remember that your activities do not have equal value. Identify the most valuable and invest most of your time in those practices. Any task that can make or mar your life and career is important, so give them time and attention. Of course, they include your health, your family, and your career. Concentrate on these above anything else. To beat procrastination, you can create a list of your priorities. You can label your tasks using A, B, C, D, E method and focus on the first. You move down the ladder only after the activity assigned with the first letter has been accomplished. Professional development helps you save valuable time. When you learn to do things better and smarter, you can create pockets of time to do other essential things in your life. When you work on your most important tasks at a high and continuous level of activity, you can actually enter into an amazing mental state called flow. Brian Tracy. Anticipate the obstacles to achieving your goals and plan. You may not be able to remove them entirely, but you can alleviate them when you have a prepared strategy for responding to obstacles. Be mindful of how you use technology. Like fire, it can serve you only if you learn to control it properly. If left uncontrolled, it can burn a whole house down. Try this. Before you start working on a list of tasks, take a few minutes to arrange them by value and priority to ensure you're working on essential activities. Write down the goals you want to achieve across the three essential areas of your life, health, family, and career. Identify and define the results you must achieve to be excellent at your job and work on them.